Do you want to be a hype streamer, engage your audience, and grow your stream? Well, I have over 10 years of radio broadcasting experience, and I'm a streamer just like you. Get ready for five game-changing tips to help you crank that dial up to 11 and get your audience hyped and ready to support you on your streaming journey. Hi, I'm Eric Logan Summit. Logan Radio rocks on Twitch, YouTube, and every other social media platform in existence. Make sure to follow me on AOL Instant Messenger so we can chat live. What? what? Not a thing? No? Well, somebody, somebody better check my mail. No, literally, literally, they said, you've got mail. You've got mail. All right. When I started streaming, everyone was telling me that I was a hype streamer. And at first, I was like, hmm, I think they just mean I'm rocking like a party star and they're enjoying my content. FYI, I was, and they were. But they also meant that I was a hype streamer, which is indeed a category of streamer. It's not necessarily what I set out to be, but with my background in radio, I suppose it was inevitable. Engaging your audience is everything. As I'm not gonna be going pro in any games anytime soon, my fun factor needs to be dialed up and I need to make the viewer feel like they are part of the action, whether they're in the game with me, just watching at home, or my favorite, listening to the stream. That's when you know you're crushing it. So what are some ways to engage and entertain your audience? I'm glad you asked. Fortunately, we're right in the middle of a video about that very topic. So sit back and take some notes on your Apple Newton. What? What? Not a thing? Really? I gotta check my Blackberry because I did not get that memo. Whatever. Let's get to the tips. Tip one, be positive and give shout outs. You need to be positive and fun, so make sure to be upbeat and welcoming while you shout out each and every single person that engages your stream. From the moment that somebody steps out from behind that lurk curtain, they are waiting for you to notice them. Shouting them out shows them, I see you. So even before I had dedicated mods, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all the hard work, all the dedication, you guys make my life so much easier. Before I had dedicated mods, I would copy and paste my shout out command with the at symbol at the end. Then when you paste it, type the first letter of their name and their handle will pop right up. So just hit that enter button and bam, shout out time. Do it for everyone all the time. There is no such thing as too many shout outs. It's a great way to keep your audience engaged. Everyone likes to see themselves acknowledged. And what's a better way than to announce them to the entire stream as soon as they enter chat, give a follow, sub, raid, lurk, detail your car, or send you a thank you card in the mail. I know that's not a thing. Should be a thing though. Send thank you cards, they're nice. Then they'll know that you know that they know that you know that you know that they know that Look, you've acknowledged them, and they'll appreciate the effort. Now, you may be asking yourself, Logan, what do I use to shout them out? Good question. Now, I use Pixel Shoutout, and yes, it's free to use. Just go to pixel.chat and sign up. It's awesomely easy to use. Looks great. A young guy built it from the ground up and it's still expanding, so there's more to come. There are a bunch of other great features to use as well. And we're gonna even talk about one more of those great features today. So you might as well get over there, support Pixel, and you'll thank me in the morning. Well, you'll thank me, trust me. But don't just let the computer do your dirty work for you. No, 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 no. No, shout them out verbally as well. You should always be looking at chat, making sure to notice who's coming, who's going, and then just tag their name on the end of a sentence like this. Sniper in the tower, I can see the glint in his eyes. 69 Papa Bear, 420, how are you doing today? 
<laughs> it's an easy, effective way to get and keep their attention. Remember, everybody wants to be acknowledged. Tip number two, play with your audience. That sounds incredibly dirty, I get it. <laughs> but what, are you too good to play with the people that are supporting you in your streaming journey? I don't think so. Without them, you're not going anywhere. And if your game allows it, why the heck wouldn't you want to play with them? They'll be super stoked to play alongside of you. And if you give someone their first Warzone victory or Apex victory, oh, come on. You know you're going to have a viewer for life. But seriously, not every viewer wants to play with you. Some will, but most of them are just going to be sitting in chat. But for those who do want to play with you, get that in-game bond, because as we all know, that bond is tight and will keep them rooting for you in-game and in your streaming career. Tip number three, other games and stuff to do. As the game you're playing in stream is secondary to the audience and their enjoyment in your stream, you must give them some stuff to do. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, most of the audience, like I said, will never want to play a game with you in stream. So let's give them something to talk about while they're in chat and some fun and exciting games to play. Games such as trivia, which is built into most chat bots, or maybe even a question of the day, are a great way to get your audience engaged and start those conversations up. The coolest thing is when chat is having conversations without you, because that means you're building a community and they're entertaining themselves just by being in your stream. You can accomplish fun and entertaining side games with channel points. Maybe a high five redemption. What's that? Three, two, one. High five. You can even have sound effects and videos that they can play to get in on the action. In an upcoming video, I will talk more about incorporating sound effects and video effects AKA drop, mm, drop into your stream. But for now, just keep coming up with crazy ideas. And don't worry if you don't have any right off the bat. They will develop organically through just the process of you going live and having fun with your viewers. Tip number four. Giveaways and community rewards are a great way to get your audience interested and keep their attention. But before you start, settle down settle down look i get it you're not made of money so let's start with a monthly giveaway so you get the most bang for your buck i do what i call a watch and win giveaway and this is how it works viewers can enter while they watch the stream and the more entries they have the better the chance they have to win and the only way to get an entry yep you guessed it is to be watching the stream and your prize doesn't have to be a life-size replica of the Millennium Falcon, no. It should be like a piece of merch from your store. Or if you don't have a merch store, have you checked out stickermule.com to get your own stickers, keychains, buttons, window decals, packing tape, and other great swag. No, seriously, they have a great weekly special that rotates. So if you wait, you can get all of your gear with your logo on it and just give that stuff away. Make it rain merch. And remember, it is the best gift. Why? Because your merch is the gift that keeps on giving. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go to stickermule.com for yourself and check out all the cool stuff that they have to offer. But if you don't have any of that, then maybe you just go with a gift card. Look, the point is people love to win stuff. And this way, for most of the month, they'll just be winning the chance to win. See what I did there? Big brains. Now you're probably thinking, how do I do these cool giveaways you speak of? How do I make them so rad, fun, and entertaining? That's a good question. You're asking a lot of good questions today, and I appreciate that. Now, remember when I told you to sign up for Pixel Chat? Good. Did you? Well, when you do, you may want to consider spending the $5 a month to upgrade to Prime, as you will get to use his amazing giveaway tool. It will keep your audience engaged and give them some bells 
and whistles to look forward to. Community rewards are another great way to build your rapport with your viewers. Make sure to use your VIP badges and bidding modes to reward your top supporters. You can find these in your stream manager right on Twitch. For VIP badges, go to the community tab and then click on role manager or click the viewer rewards for bitty Motes channel points and in-game drops. Another great way to reward and engage your growing community is through Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, well, it's another platform for your community to gather and communicate outside of your stream. In one of my previous videos, five game-changing streaming tips, which you can check out right up there, I said I would tell you when you're ready to start to build a Discord. Let's chat about that now, shall we? Now, I waited until I had 50 paid subs, not gifted subs, paid individual subs. I believe that's a good determiner to see if you're ready to build and maintain a Discord. Because let's remember, this is just more work that you're making for yourself, all right? So that's when I started my VIP sub-only Discord, Achievement Unlocked. It's for the really dedicated viewers to mingle outside of the awesomeness that is Logan Radio Rocks. And you don't have to do it that way. Maybe you just have a lock channel in your Discord for subs, or maybe you don't do any of that. Look, it's up to you to play around, use that brain, and figure out what the best way for you to entice your viewers and keep them coming back for more. Tip number five. Last but certainly not least, learn about the members of your community. Look, you must try. I know not everybody's got a perfect memory. I certainly do not. But you must try to remember where they are from, what they do besides game, and of course, the games that they love to play. Start there. With that information, you can relate stories or things in the news to specific people in chat. And you know what? They're gonna appreciate the effort. You should want to get to know your audience as this streaming journey is not gonna be possible without them. And since you hope to see them around often, might as well start to develop that rapport from the very start. Make sure to listen to the important things that are going on in and around your viewers' lives. And then ask them about their experiences. Look, don't get too nosy. But if they've brought up the topic, it's okay to ask them some follow-up questions and get a nice conversation started in chat. Most importantly, care. Yes, care. That's right, you should give a about your audience. You're not going anywhere without them, and they're gonna be the ones to let you know when you're killing it, and when, well, you might need to change up some things. So stay humble, be flexible, always positive, and have fun. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below and let me know what you wanna see in my upcoming videos. Make sure to drop your two-way pager number below so that we can, I know it's not a thing, it's a joke. All right. Be good to yourself, be kind to others, pay it forward, play it forward, rock like a party star, party like a rock star, smile strong, laugh loud, and last but not least, please like, follow, and subscribe so you'll know when I'll be live on Twitch releasing a new video on YouTube or giving away a new Lamborghini. You can join me seven days a week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 3 p.m. GMT time. That's the UK, baby. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Ah!